Welcome on board this American Airlines Airbus. Imagine booking your flight, getting to the gate expecting to see a plane, but instead you see this, a bus. Well, this could happen on your next trip with American Airlines. Keep watching to see how. Hello, Jet Setters. Today we're flying to Atlantic City. Our first flight to Philadelphia is no big deal. It's just on a regular plane. But the second flight, the one to Atlantic City, well, it's on a bus. Say what? <laughs> I hope you'll join us for American Airlines' newest service. Here's the plan. We'll leave our home airport in Greensboro, North Carolina at 8 in the morning and fly up to Philadelphia. From there, we'll pick up the bus to Atlantic City and arrive at 1140 this morning. We book this ticket just like any other on American Airlines. At the bottom of our itinerary, it lists the aircraft type. The first leg, well, that's on a CRJ 700. The second, well, look at that, it's a bus. I'm gonna check my bag. And I'm gonna carry on my bag so we get the full experience of how this works. Nothing too special about the drop-off, but we'll see what the pickup is like. American Airlines has been flying since the 1920s, but adding buses to their fleet is a fairly new addition. This leads to so many questions. Like, will the bag come out of the bus or baggage claim? Is this bus even popular? What does our arrival gate curb mean? Is there a bathroom on the bus? Well, we're gonna answer this and so much more. More than anything, we're gonna answer the fundamental question. Why is a flight on a bus? Join us to find out. We booked this trip today in economy. There's only one class of service on the bus, but we happen to get a complimentary upgrade on this first leg to Philadelphia due to our American Airlines status. Woohoo! Like a lot of short flights, this one was operated by a regional airplane. Nothing special there. It's nice to board a plane, isn't it? If you're like us and enjoy all kinds of transportation adventures, we hope you'll consider clicking the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Free departure beverage. Think we'll have one on the bus? No. Total flight time today will be 56 minutes. What's up, what's down? In addition to Atlantic City, American Airlines currently offers bus service from Philadelphia to nearby Lancaster and Allentown. Buses allow the airline to serve more destinations at a time when they face a shortage of pilots. What cities around other hub airports do you think airlines could add? Let us know in the comments below. Welcome to Philadelphia. The local time is 9.08 a.m. Please remain seated. Ready for the next departure? Yeah. That on-time arrival meant we had plenty of time to make our connection even if the gate agents had failed to open the door. We'd arrived into the F concourse, which is also where the buses depart. Totally normal flight, just like we've done a million times before. Everything was as expected. This next flight, not so much. Definitely need to find a bathroom before our next flight. Uh, I'm not confident there's gonna be a one on board. Do oh, you think there's gonna be one? 100%, there will absolutely be a bathroom on board. The question is, so. the question is though, is it called a lavatory? A toilet, a water closet, what are they going to call it? But it's definitely going to be there. The bedding begins even before Atlantic City. <laughs> she went. Zero faith in American Airlines or bus lines, whatever it is. I am confident there's a bathroom on board. No doubt in my mind. We strolled up to gate F8 for some good news. The plane has arrived. This brightly branded Prevo H3 45 motor coach is operated by a company called Landline for American Airlines. Kind of like the regional airlines that operate under the American Eagle brand, Landline provides both the buses and the drivers for the service. There's actually a whole fleet of them, there are three out there. And all three of these routes leave within just a few minutes of each other, so they were all lined up and ready to go. I'm watching people walk by, and when they walk by the gate and see the buses, their, their jaws drop, and they're like, what is that? I just went up to the gate to uh, to just check on the flight and see what was going on. And there was a uh, there was another passenger who was talking about seeing in the app that the aircraft type was a bus, and she thought that was strange. Then she got to the gate and realized it's an actual bus. The gate agent thought that was funny too. And uh, uh, it seems like uh, this is a, a new service for American Airlines that is raising some questions for some passengers. Uh, we'll see how it is. And we would find out quickly. Boarding began, and we headed outside. Thanks again to our status with American Airlines, we boarded with Group 2, and because we were the first to hop on, we had some extra time to explore the cabin. The seats are arranged in a 1-2 configuration, and we were given seat assignments in the app, but were unable to change them. That was okay with us, though. We liked our seats in the second row. The motor coach has room for 35 passengers. While there are overhead bins, Carry-on bags you'd gate check on a regional flight have to be stored below. 
Legroom is far better than you'd get in economy on a regional jet. The tray table's operation took me by surprise. That said, it does have one huge benefit. Don't even have to wait for 10,000 feet. There's power at each seat, along with reading lights and air vents up top. Under seat storage for my backpack and Suzanne's purse, that was no problem at all either. About 55 miles to cover today. So far, traffic looks good. 58 minutes or so, so about an hour. If we hit that, we'll bet big, real big. <laughs> Checked baggage gets delivered just like a flight. It's loaded up, and the door's closed. And without any pomp or circumstance, we departed. As we slowly pulled away from gate F8, the driver made an announcement about our journey. He explained the expected driving time, about an hour, and that we should arrive early, about 11.20 this morning. We made our way along the ramp, and a pickup truck escorted us as we passed much of American Airlines' fleet of regional aircraft here at Philadelphia. Eventually, though, we arrived at the airport's perimeter road, where we traveled around one of the runways and reached this gate, where we joined the public road. Is that the equivalent of takeoff? Yeah, weirdly. Now that we're on our way, let's tackle those questions. First, is the bus even popular? Well, yeah, it was nearly full. Of course, almost everyone seemed at least somewhat amused by the experience, and several of the passengers were surprised to find out they would be boarding a bus, but nearly every seat was taken up. Next, perhaps the most burning question of all, is there a bathroom on the bus? I told you. It's pretty basic, no doubt about that but it's also roomier than the one on the CRJ. This table makes me think there's a possibility a flight attendant, drive attendant, may join the crew sometime soon. That would certainly be a nice addition to the experience. We checked the status of our trip in the app. I'm not sure in-flight is quite right. Are we really flying? Hey, at least we were on time so far. Thankfully, traffic was flowing nicely today. I do think the risk of traffic jams is a real deterrent to this kind of travel. By the way, there are screens, but no in-traffic entertainment? Instead, you can connect using your mobile device to streaming entertainment, which had plenty of options. Wi-Fi was also available, and although it wasn't super fast, it was free. Another question, what kind of mileage do we earn on this bus ride? I'm so glad you asked. 155 loyalty points for American Airlines Advantage members. Unfortunately, no bonus points for the toll, though. Atlantic City came on fast, which means it's time for the unscientific Jeb score, but there's a lot more to this service than just the stars. Keep watching to see why. We'll look at the lounge, the seat, the food, the in-flight entertainment, and the service on this unconventional offering. First, there is no lounge. Even if we'd booked this trip into first class, we could not have entered an American Airlines Admirals Club. Zero stars here. The seat is great, more comfortable than any economy seat on a regional airplane. However, not being able to pre-select a seat in the app is a real downer. I guess you'd have to call the airline or talk to a gate agent to do that. The seat earns four stars. Because there was no food, that means zero stars here. The in-flight entertainment was way more than I'd expected, plus it was free five stars here. Although there was no cabin service, we really liked our driver. He was great, and his announcement was thorough and useful. Three stars here. So that leaves American Airlines bus service with the lowest ever GEM score, 12 stars out of a possible 25. But there's a lot more to this service than the score. But first, welcome to the curb gate here at the Atlantic City Airport, where we collected our bags. Both my checked bag and Suzanne's carry-on suitcase were here. And the bus also leaves from here too, which means departing passengers clear security in Philadelphia. I think that was a really great service. Like it's actually more comfortable than an airplane, I would say. I don't know if I would want to be on it for multiple hours at a time, but for an hour, absolutely. I agree. And I think the other thing that's really cool about it is it opens up new gateways for American Airlines. Imagine, you know, a radius around major hubs that of cities or places that we might want to visit that you can't get to easily by plane. Like Atlantic City. Its mini golf course even set us up perfectly for our next adventure. If I make this putt, we're flying Spirit Airlines tomorrow. Yay! Can we do it first class? Yeah, 
can we? We'll find out. Between now and the next time, see you. Who knows anymore? This leads us so. Hold on. No, no, okay. it's filming. <laughs> Why did we choose Atlantic City today? Because we really want to go gamble. No, it's because the other options were Allentown or Lancaster. No offense to those of you who may live in Allentown or Lancaster. If you open overhead venues, caution is items may have shifted in flight. Do we need to get you a bus necklace? I'm good. <laughs>